Good morning, girls and boys. Here I am back again, Dr. Pillow, also known as G Paul, and my webmaster, Willie May. And we're here to talk to you today about Katie Kitty. And Katie Kitty has the k sound. And her, her story comes from Classroom Phonology by Therapy Works. And this is produced by the Phonological, I mean, the Psychological uh, Corporation. And here's the author. This morning, um, you have already heard Katie Kitty's song, so I will um, read the book, the storybook, and and this is about the k sound, which is Katie Kitty's sound. And you see the, the letter K. It starts with the sound K. All right, let's listen to the story about Katie Kitty. Once upon a time, there was a kitty named Katie. Now, Katie Kitty lived in a cozy cabin in the corner of a mountain clearing. I have a cabin just like this. We'll go there someday. I'll show it to you. There's Katie Kitty in her cozy cabin. Katie was a busy kitty. She cleaned and cooked all day long. And she cleaned her, her cups in the cupboard and her coats in the closet. She cooked cabbage and put it in soup in a big kettle. She baked cupcakes and made candy for dessert. All these have a sound in them, these words. Look at Katie Kitty. She was a good cook. Katie had long, beautiful whiskers, and they were so colorful. Her whiskers were orange and blue and pink and yellow, and they were as curly as they can be. Well, Katie's whiskers were different from other cats' whiskers. Katie would take them off her face to clean and curl them every day. Hmm, removable whiskers. One day, Katie invited all of her friends to her cozy cabin for cabbage soup and carrot cake. Before her friends arrived, Katie combed her furry coat and sat down to put on her whiskers. But, uh-oh, her whiskers were missing. No whiskers. Where could they be? Katie looked in the closet, and she looked in the cupboards for her colorful, curly whiskers, and she looked in corners and crevices, but they were nowhere to be found. Where were Katie Key's whiskers? Just then, the doorbell rang. Ding dong! When Katie opened the door, there were her friends, Pan Pony, and Danny Duck, and Timmy Tiger, and Ben Bird. And they were very hungry. Sit down, everyone, and we can eat our cabbage suit and carrot cake, said Katie Kitty. Yum, yum, yum. This soup is delicious, everyone said. I told you she was a good cook. Everyone except for Danny Duck. This is the funniest looking cabbage suit I ever saw, exclaimed Danny Duck. There on the end of his spoon were two cabbage soaked, colorful, curly whiskers. You found my whiskers, said Katie Kitty. Everyone laughed and laughed to see the colorful, curly whiskers in the cabbage soup. The end. What a surprise that was. <laughs> um, well, we have a cat here at home, and his name is Goblin, and he, I call him an acro cat because he can 
fly through the air with the greatest of ease and never even need a flying trapeze. Someday I'll show him to you. Now you remember if you watched the compilation video, I introduced Katie Kitty's song already, even though we hadn't had the story yet. Katie Kitty's sound is k and you just open your mouth and make it in the back of your mouth and it's like k with no speech motor. Just go k like that. That's Katie Kitty's sound. Alright, let's sing your song. Are you ready? Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried and cried. Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried and cried. Meow, meow. When she looked in the closet, she looked in the cupboard. Are they my cabbage soup? She really did wonder. Katie Kitty found her whiskers and she cried Kazam. Katie Kitty found her whiskers and she cried Kazam. Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried and cried. Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried and cried. Meow, meow. She looked in the closet and she looked in the cupboard. Are they in my cabbage soup? She really did wonder. Katie Kitty found her whiskers and she cried Kazam. Katie Kitty found her whiskers and she cried Kazam. Okay, that was Katie Kitty's song, and her sound is k. Let's try to put Katie Kitty's sound at the beginning of some other uh, sounds and, and see if we can make words or silly words. Okay, let's see. Let's take the sound ooh, and let's, um, let's put Katie Kitty's sound in the, in the beginning of ooh. And what sound do you, what word do you get? Coo. That's a real word, but it sounds like a silly word. Like cuckoo, cuckoo, you know, the cuckoo clock, uh, where the bird comes out, cuckoo. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Um, how about E? Put the Katie Kitty sound in the beginning of E. K e, what word is that? It's something you need to unlock your door. K E. Key, that's right. Good guess. Key, k e key. Um, now, let's try another one. Let's try the sound a. Put Katie Kitty sound before that. K a, k a, k. That's the letter that has Katie Kitty sound. K a, k. Now let's add some sounds at the end too. All right, let's start with uh, let's start with Pan Pony sound. Um, p, p. Let's say, let's try ooh, ooh. P. Put Pan Pony sound at the end. Oop. Now let's put Katie Kitty sound at the beginning. K, oop. Ha. Chicken coop. It rhymes with soup. K, oop. If we put another sound, the s, which we haven't had, that summer snail sound. If we put summer snail sound at the beginning, s, ooh, p, we have soup. And it rhymes with k, ooh, p. Katie Kitty's sound at the beginning is k, ooh, and Pan Pony sound at the end is p, coop. Let's try another one. E. And put Pan Pony sound at the end. E, p. Eep. That's not a real word, is it? Eep. Oh, but if we put sound to the beginning, we can make real words. Like, let's put a uh, Katie Kitty sound at the beginning. K eep. Keep. That means you don't throw it away. You keep it. All right, let's see. Um, a. A. P. We'll put Pan Pony sound at the end of A, and we have ape. It's like a big monkey, a. P. But if we also add Katie Kitty sound at the beginning, we have k, a, p. Like Supergirl, she wears a cape, or Superman, cape. All right. Well, these are three sounds that we've tried. Um, ooh, ah, and e. We can use those a lot. 
So we'll do that again another time with other sounds when we meet again. All right, well, thank you so much for coming today. And um, remember, Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried kazam. Katie Kitty lost her whiskers and she cried kazam. Well, thank you for joining us today. And, um, and uh, Willie May and I had a great time with you today. And we hope to see you again uh, the next time. So have a fun day and be safe. Bye-bye. Love you.